Cricuts. Today we're going to be making a lamb curry. Now, because it was Easter yesterday, we made a lamb roast. Um, it was really nice. But we had so much lamb left over, so I'm literally just going to show you because I like everything in the fridge, like I said before. So these are all the leftovers from the lamb. So you're looking about about five ounces, something like that. But just enough, just so that it can make the curry as well. Okay. So I'm just going to get my mushrooms out as well because we need them. Okay. So what you're going to need for this is about 30 grams of coriander. Three bay leaves, cumin seeds, um, it was one tablespoon, um, some ground nutmeg, that was a teaspoon, some sumac, now this is a Middle Eastern uh, spice, it's really nice, it's more of a lemony spice, so I did a teaspoon of that, uh, one tablespoon of korma spay, curry blend, one tablespoon of garam masala, uh, a lemon, some sun-dried tomato paste, three cloves of garlic, two shallots, and some ginger. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the into here so that we can blitz it up a little bit because sometimes it's not as nice. I chop. You can chop them if you want to. That's no problem. Um, it all depends on really on timing as well. I'm going to leave, want mine in the fridge. For a little bit, so. Okay, so that's all nicely done like that. So we're going to take this out, if it will come out. There we go. Okay. And I've also got a lemon. So with the lemon, um, we're going to grate this lemon as well. I actually have got my grater today, which is fantastic. And I don't normally, I'm not normally prepared. But, um, so you want to just make sure that you're just getting the skin. You're not getting the white bits because if you get the white bits of the lemon it's not very nice to be honest okay so i'm just going to pop that in there and then you'll want the lemon juice as well so if you just cut the lemon and i've got my nifty these are really good these are like they say oh get an electric juicer and all this we got this from a car boot sale it was so cheap it was about two quids and it does it perfectly um, and it does it perfectly. Oh, it does. Today it's stuck, it likes to play up, obviously. Okay, so also I've got 300 mils of stock, of chicken stock, and some coconut milk. About a 400 gram can will do. So I'm going to put the lemon over here and I'm going to put the lemon into here, the lemon juice, which will give it a nice flavour. Okay, so what we're going to do is okay so i'm going to put these shallots into the pan and i'm also going to put this mix into the pan as well this is your coriander mix and garlic and ginger now some people like ginger other people really hate coriander as well so just find if you don't like that ingredient just put something that you particularly like inside as well um, it doesn't matter too much, but the coriander does give it quite a nice flavour. Okay, so I've cut up my mushrooms. That's 250 grams of mushrooms in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of rapeseed oil, like I've explained in my other ones. Rapeseed oil is a little bit more lighter. It's actually 50% less fatter than olive oil, which most people find it hard to believe. But it actually is a lot less. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that over there. And then I'm going to bring on my ingredients more over here so that I can kind of get them in now I'm literally just making the basics of mine so that I'm going to put mine in the fridge as well so one second okay so I'm going to start frying this off once this starts frying off we're going to add in our um, add in all of our spices it's really important that you get the spices a bit fried off before you start putting anything else in with this because if you don't your your spices taste bitter it's not very nice in your in your sauce so it's a bit like Ugh. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this one just down a tiny bit because we don't really want ours to burn once. So take this off the heat and you're going to put all of your spices into here. And at this point you can add a tiny bit of salt as well. And a little bit of pepper as well into it. All of it gives a little bit of flavour. I'll put these, I'll put the bay leaves in, in a little bit. Now, don't worry, it will stick a tiny bit. You want to just fry it off just a little bit, just so that it starts frying and coming together because in a minute we're going to start adding our stock in which will help help it as well so at this point as well you can put your mushrooms in your mushrooms can fry off a little bit with the spices and then it, it kind of helps the spices not to burn so much because it's clinging on to something rather than just having nothing there to cling on to so I'm just going to do that if you want to put if you feel like it is burning a tiny bit just put the tiniest little bit of stock in and that will start bringing your paste together so you can see mine's starting to go a little bit more now but if you feel like it just keep adding a tiny bit obviously not all at once it's a bit like kind of like when we're doing the risotto stage you want to make sure that you're not putting too much in at a time so um, you want your mix to come together first before anything else so that's that and you can start adding your bay leaves in now. So add your bay leaves in. Just fix this. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it, Gary? I'm going to say hello to Gary again because Gary's on the videos. This poor Gary has to watch all the cooking while I'm doing it. <laughs> Gary likes my cooking. Okay, so. I've mixed this in. As you see, the way the um, the sauce is coming together, um, with that, what I am going to do... Okay, I forgot to say about corn flour. Now, corn flour is for sauces, so you can put a little bit in and it thickens quite quickly. So, you don't need a lot of it, so don't go a bit crazy, but it helps thicken up your sauce a little bit as well. You need to put that in at this point otherwise um, it goes to like um, a paste um, corn flour and if it isn't cooked properly like all flour you get that horrible floury taste which is a bit okay so I'm going to pour it all in now because it's mostly done I did fry off the fry off that so that's that bit so don't worry too much if your mushrooms aren't cooked yet because they will cook it's just that obviously you're going to cook it a bit later on. So we're going to hope that this comes out. Because the other day I was trying to get it out. And it went all across the kitchen. So it wasn't there. <laughs> it did look like a bit of a bomb site had gone off, I must admit. Okay, so I'm going to mix this all in together. Now if you feel at any point that you're going to need um, a bit more corn flour... You can do that, absolutely no problem again, you know, it's absolutely fine. It's whatever you really want to do with a curry, it won't make, it's what makes you feel best. So, I love, I love putting in, um, eh. might help if I actually did this a little bit better. Okay, so I'm using um, this one, which is the sun-dried tomato puree. It's got a little bit of oil, it's got a little bit of um, garlic in it as well, but it's actually really good because it makes your curry go kind of like a bit more of a different colour, but it also helps bring it bring that kind of tomatoey flavour in. So really, I'm going to use it all because I like it. So, and I like the colour it goes as well. So, put that all in. It's not doing it, but there we go. Ah, there we go, that's better. Sometimes they're very tricky, these things. They like to be very difficult. And I don't know why. 
but there you go okay so I'm going to turn this up just a little bit because we put it on quite a low heat while we were doing the um, doing the spices because obviously we didn't want them to burn which is not nice okay so I'm going to put that all in there okay now it's always best to give your curry a try as well see how it's getting on mm. that's very nice mine's very lemony at the moment so if you want to add any more any more korma in it or any more whatever you really want inside it I'm going to put a little bit more garam masala because um, even though we just we just burnt it all off um, it does need a little bit more so I'm going to put a little bit in but that will cook off again once I once I do that right I'm going to get my lamb now and I'm going to put my lamb into the curry okay so this is it basically done now and as you see because we put a little bit of the well not a little bit a whole thing of tomato puree in it it gives it it gives it a darker like a, almost like a like a different colour well now you can always add if you want it more tomatoey you can always add a bit more um tomato in it um I've got in my cupboard which is always a storage product for me is passata it's an Italian um tomato sauce um it's like sieved tomatoes it's actually really good it's it's really handy to have in your pantry so I'm going to put all of my lamb in here now I'm going to take this off the heat the only reason why I'm taking the heat off of it but leaving it on there is so it gets that little bit of heat coming through but um, I don't want my lamb to overcook because I want to do this more later on as well so I'm going to put that all in to there and I'm just going to give it a mix mm, it's very nice okay so there you go there is your lamb curry with mushrooms and i would like to thank you for watching um please like and subscribe to the channel thank you very much bye